Hello, my name is Amelia Mary Earhart. I was born on July 24, 1897 in Ashton, Kansas. I was the daughter of Samuel Santon and Amelia Otis Earhart. I too had a younger sister named Grace Muriel Earhart. I lived with my wealthy maternal grandparents, Alfred and Amelia Harris Otis, until I was 12. As a child, I spent the winter months with my grandparents and the summers with my parents. When I saw my first plane at the State Fair, I was not at all impressed. It was a thing of rusty wire and wood and looked not at all interesting, I said. On December 28, 1920, pilot Frank Hawks gave me a ride that would forever change my life. On May 15, 1923, I became the 16th woman to be issued a pilot's license by the world governing body for aeronautics. February 7, 1931, I married George Putnam. On May 20, 1932, my nearly 15-hour flight established me as an international hero. I became the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. By 1935, I began to contemplate one last flight that would set me apart for all others. The original plan was to take off from Oakland, California and fly west to Hawaii. From there, I would fly across the Pacific Ocean to Australia. I would cross the subcontinent of India onto Africa, then to Florida and back to California. In June 1937, I embarked upon the first around-the-world flight at the equator. On July 2nd, after completing nearly two-thirds of my historic flight over 22,000 miles, I vanished along with my navigator. January 5th, 1939, I was declared legally dead by the Superior Court in Los Angeles.